This video is for people that think 15 amps worth of horn isn't enough. How about 25 amps worth? So first things first, you're gonna need a wiring harness with a relay. You can make one. I just bought one because it's a huge time saver. This looks like it is a 40 amp, 12 volt relay. That is tons of power. What a relay does is makes it so you can switch power over the relay harness instead of through the harness, which can save a bunch of wiring. So you don't need to run giant gauge wiring everywhere. So I'm working on mounting it first. Uh, if you do not have a winch, like I do, you probably are going to have a little bit different mounting points, but fortunately, I do have a winch, and so the bit of the bumper beam that comes out here isn't there. Uh, what I've done here is I've gone ahead and mounted all three off the original bolt. So here is the factory horn, here is the Hella Supertone, and here is the air horn. I did something similar on the other side, but you can see that was all kind of dead space there. So it shouldn't really affect it too much, and it's all nice up and protected there. I don't think it's going to show through the bumper. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get it wired and see what it looks like. When running the harness up to the battery, something that's really nice, at least on these generation vehicles. Not all of them, but at least mine. Yeah. Is that the terminal... It's a separate piece and there's a bolt here. So you don't need to remove the terminal. You can just remove this. You can see where my winch is already installed there. And then we will install the positive. Tighten that down. And there we go. That easy. So, as far as the wiring, it's a little not as clean on this side, but no one except for you guys is ever going to see it, so I don't really care. Uh, we've got the 40 amp relay here. That goes to the positive and negative terminals up here. Then they come back. One goes across the bumper beam over to the passenger side horns, and one stays here. Hi, kitty. Hi, puppy. Uh, the only other connection worth mentioning, now I did have to parallel split each one of these, so each one has two coming out, and then this is the only this piece right here is the only piece of the factory harness that I had to cut. So this is the signal wire that was originally to this horn. This I'm going to crimp on and then I ground it to this. This and this is ground. This and this goes back. This and this goes back. So it all goes back to the harness. And then moving over to the passenger side, you can see a similar setup. I need to tuck that up. But let's make sure everything works. That's pretty loud, not gonna lie. But why I wanted to do all this is just to show that you can wire pretty much anything in. Uh, a 25 amp horn is a whole lot, and even all three of these together isn't going to be more than 25 amps. So I think it's safe to bolt everything back up. I'll go ahead and put the bumper on now, and we're good to go. Actually, I just realized, uh, with the factory connector here, you could connect it, so you could actually have two harnesses. So, theoretically, you could have 50 amps of horn, if you so desire. But, I do not. I just wanted to show off what you could do. Hope this video helps somebody. Thanks for watching.